Okay, hello, what's up? I'm Jan, I'm back with another bookish video because the readathon starts tomorrow, the Gilmore Girls readathon, if you didn't know. I'll link all the information down below and my video about it, which is my last one that I posted like two days ago. So this is weird for me that I'm posting another one so soon, but I figured it's September 30th and I am going to film my September wrap-up video. So all the books I read in September. I read one, two, three, seven books and my goal was six and I'm almost done. No, I'm like 200 pages away from finishing my current read. I was gonna wait till I finish that to film this, but I figured I'll just like add it in later. Anyways, so that's what I'm doing today. Happy Monday. I'm feeling good. I hope you are too. Okay, we're just gonna start. The first book I read, I started on September 1st. Like I said in my last video, I'm trying to read all of the Harry Potter illustrated editions before the fourth one comes out and then I'm rereading the rest of them also. I've only read them once through so far, all seven of them. I read the first one September 1st, I'm starting the second one tomorrow, the third one November 1st, and then buying the fourth one, yada yada yada. Illustrated Edition was amazing. I loved it. It really is a different experience from reading the regular edition. They're so beautiful. Let me find one. I really like this one. Oh, this is so difficult, but like with the ghosts, Everything, Jim K is crazy with his art. Like the details are phenomenal. I loved it. Second book I finished, finally, The Vanishing Stair, which is the second book in the Truly Devious series. I read the first one a few months ago and I started this one when my boyfriend got it for me, but I just could not get into it right away. So I kept like reading other books at the same time and never finishing this. I think I started this in like July, but I finally finished it right after Harry Potter. So this is about a girl named Stevie in an like a special academy, Ellingham Academy, where they enroll students and have them. Is this even recording? Okay. They enroll students based on what they love to do, like what they're passionate about. In Stevie's case, her passion is true crime. She is trying to solve this murder mystery revolving around Ellingham Academy, like the past and the present murder mysteries. It was pretty good. I like the first one better, I think, but the second one also like tied a lot of knots and it was a good sequel. <laughs> Can't complain too much. It just dragged on for me. The third book I finished is The Undoing of Thistle Tate, which I'm gonna insert a picture of somewhere because I borrowed it from the library. Five stars for sure. I'll link my Goodreads down below. I was hooked from the first chapter. Like I loved it so much. So Thistle Tate is this famous author supposedly, but really her dad wrote the books. It's not a spoiler. It's in the synopsis. I'm pretty sure, but you find out really early on. So it's just her like dealing with that lie her whole life. She just goes through life just like figuring things out, like her love life and then like this author thing. But I love books about books. The writing was good, the banter was good, like the dialogue between the characters, everything was just really good. The fourth book I read, Girls of Paper and Fire, just another five star read. I love this book so much. Trigger warning though for sexual assault and rape. Other than that, it's a great fantasy novel. I've been so into fantasy lately. Like I feel like in the fall, I get into fantasy just like everybody in their mamas, but whatever. I just like recently started getting into fantasy because before this I would read like probably one or two fantasy books a year if that but I just love this so much so I bought this at the Barnes & Noble book haul sale so like everything was 50% off what got me was this part so the back it says in my land we're known as paper girls easily torn existing only for others to use and discard but there's something they've all forgotten about paper it can light the world on fire dot 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 and make it burn and I was like yes love a good empowering women concept, book, plot. Anyways, so this girl, honestly I already forgot her, Lay. Lay is like taken from her family. So there's like demons and half demons and then like, no, let me start over. So there are three casts, there's Paper, Steel, and, and Moon cast. So Paper cast is fully human, Steel is half demon, half human, and then Moon is full demon. The way this author writes and like describes all the situations and then all the characters, like how the half demons, how they look and how they mix with like their human features, everything's just so poetic and lyrical and I just loved her writing. But anyways, Leia's taken from her family, goes to the kingdom where she is like transformed into a paper girl. So they basically like serve the demon king like with their bodies, which I wasn't a fan of but the point of the story is like standing up for what you believe in I guess and like fighting for what you think is right and like how to like own your body and like it was a good book okay there's like fighting there's action there's emotion there's love there's, there's a female female romance like I just loved it loved it loved it loved it five stars 
I spent way too long on that book. Next book I read was the first graphic novel I've ever read, aside from like Archie comics and stuff, but it was called Spinning by Tilly Walden. Oh my god, I didn't even say the author's this is all over the place, I'm so sorry. But okay, Spinning by Tilly, Tilly Walden. At first, I was like, why am I reading about this 11 year old girl being stressed out about figure skating? Like, I was not into it at first, but it got really good and intense at some points and super emotional and she was feeling so much, all the pressure of figure skating for like all her life and like bullying. So trigger warning for bullying and also sexual harassment. It's just a story about like growing up and coming of age. I love stories like that. So I think I gave it four or five stars. Next one is called Again But Better by Christine Riccio. This I also started around the same time as The Vanishing Stair back in July. And I liked the story. It was a good like contemporary story, but I was just not feeling it at first. I just wanted to read like fantasy and stuff and I just kept putting it off and reading other books. But once I got like into it and like sat down and read a bunch of pages at a time, it was really good. And there was this like plot twist that I was not expecting. So like the first half of the story is like what you think it would be, like a coming of age story about a girl who studies a abroad in London, finds herself, whatever, and then the second half of the story is like, plot twist. It's a great book. I gave it five stars because her writing is really good. Like, it's her first debut novel, but like the way she makes the characters interact and the references she makes to modern culture and stuff, I loved it. Good book. <laughs> the last book I read is the graphic novel for A Wrinkle in Time because my friend Amanda recommended it to me after I posted about spinning by Tilly Walden. Oh, a Wrinkle in Time is by Madeline Langla. I read the original book in like fourth grade, wasn't really into it. I read the graphic novel, still wasn't really into it. But like, I love the artwork. I like that it was like all blue and stuff, but I just was not into the story just because it was like sci-fi-y and like I can do fantasy, but sci-fi is just not my thing. So. There's that. Oh my god. <laughs> that just fell. Thanks for watching another nerdy book video. Tomorrow, Gilmore Girls readathon vlogs are gonna start. Like I said in my other video, I'm probably gonna post every other day. If that, and it's only for two weeks, I have a lot going on this week. <sighs> like last night I worked till midnight and then today I had an interview. I work until 1.30 tonight, like a.m. Tomorrow, I have the day off, but I have an internship thing. And then this weekend, my boyfriend and I are going hiking because I have a Saturday off, which like never happens unless I request it. So we're gonna go hiking. So it's gonna be like a bunch of fun vlogs. So hopefully you stay tuned for that, but thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye! <laughs>